some noise. And I know you got them, so I want you to show them to me. Everybody take your cell phones out and light this motherfucker up. And when you do it, I want you to turn around and look at how fucking beautiful it is. You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you. Make some noise!
Bristol, huh? How are you feeling tonight, yeah? I'm good too, you know why? You know why I'm good? I woke up in a shitty mood today. Guess what? I'm clinically insane. I wake up in a shitty mood every day, okay? Just get that out of the way. Do you know why I'm happy? because all of you showed up. Thank you. This is the heavy metal community, which I translate to the heavy metal family of Bristol. All the fucking metal people. All the real fucking heavy metal people are right here in this motherfucker tonight. Think about the name of the tour, the Psychotherapy Sessions. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Eh? Some of us go to therapists every week and blah, 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 life, blah, 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 blah. You would consider that a psychotherapy session, right? Some people pay for therapists, some people buy concert tickets. I think this is way better, don't you? It's like a family, it's like fucking religion, isn't it? It is. It's like, this is like church. You get together in a church, you get together with all your, fe all your people, all your family, all your friends, you go to fucking church and you worship and you do all that shit, right? We get together with all our friends, all our family and all our fucking people and we come here and we kind of worship, don't we? Yeah? They say Jesus saves. You know what? I'm proof. Metal fucking saves. They say God is everywhere. I've been all around this world playing fucking metal and trust me, Metal is every fucking where. This is so fucking special. I hope that everyone takes this night and fucking embraces it. Really use this night for what it is. It's to get your mind right. It's to fucking let go of all the bullshit out there that likes to drag us down inside of ourselves. And I think that shit is unfucking acceptable. Fuck that shit. I want you to own this motherfucker with me tonight. People tell me all the time, dude, thank you so much for what you do, man. You saved my life, blah, 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 blah. Dude, you motherfuckers saved my life every single day of my life. Thank you so fucking much. For me and for my band, there we go. Make some noise! You guys want some heavy shit that we rarely ever fucking play? I said, do you want some heavy shit that we rarely ever fucking play? Well, here you go. Yeah. 
This is one from the fucking ruins, for sure.
fucking sing it. Pull me out of my. Do I? Do I? Pull me out of my. Do I? Do I? Pull me out of my. Do I? Do I? Pull me out of my.
I'll work and no play Makes me a dope boy I'll work and no play Makes me a dope boy I'll work and no play Makes me a dope boy Most about this is because I feel a level and a spirit of fucking family in this situation. Do you? Do you? Yeah. We kind of set a fucking precedent, the precedent in the metal community, like just the idea, the concept of the fucking mosh pit. If we could just take that fucking mentality and apply it to the rest of the fucking world. In that fucking mosh pit, there is nothing but absolute fucking respect. If somebody goes down, fuck it. If you knock them down, 
generally, the guy that knocks you down is the guy that holds out his hand and helps you the fuck up. Don't you wish we could apply that to the rest of the fucking world? <laughs> fucking idiots. It's not that hard, is it? Is it that fucking hard? Apparently it is. Because we're the only motherfuckers right now that seem like we've got our shit together in my eyes, yeah? You guys definitely have your fucking shit together. Make some noise! Along this road, since I've decided to devote my life to heavy metal music, probably because it saved my life so many times, I felt compelled to take all of my influences and carry the fucking torch to the next generation of young and up and coming fucking artists, yeah? Metal supports metal, goddammit. You are supporting the future of heavy metal music by being here tonight, goddammit. And I was supporting the future of heavy metal music when I was going to shows. Slayer, Metallica, Pantera, Alice in Chains. So many years ago. I'm gonna bring up a friend of mine and my wife. Can you bring her out here? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the next generation right here. Everybody make some noise for Kid Dreadful, man. This little girl is like a fucking horror fanatic. She has an Instagram page, at Kid Dreadful, and every fucking day, she does some crazy-ass photo shoot of all your favorite fucking horror characters, and she's just a beautiful person. I was looking through her Instagram, somebody turned me on to it, because she was dressed up as me, and I was just like, that's too fucking cool. And here she is tonight, dressed up like me again. Yeah. <laughs> fucking so amazing, isn't it? We're doing it right now. Now I know these fucking situations, everybody's pretty comfortable, right? But there could be a little weirdness. Say you came with a crew of friends, you got separated, now you're standing next to some big hairy fucking biker guy or something, you know, shit's, shit's uncomfortable. I'm gonna make it a little bit better right now, because you don't know you, and you don't know you, and I don't know who's trapped next to a big fucking biker. So what I want you to do, on the count of three, and when I say three, I want you to make all the fucking noise you can, I want you to turn around, and I want you to high five a complete fucking stranger. One, two, three, go! Fucking leaving me hanging, huh? You guys want to play some old shit, yeah? You guys like that old shit, don't you? This is a song that stood its test of time. I'm not sure it really got the love it needed when it came out, but we fucking love it, and it's become a your favorite, a crowd favorite. So here we go.
Thank you.